What's up guys? I'm here hanging out at home and today I will be answering questions asked by you guys. I reached out to see if you guys had any questions and I received literally hundreds of them. So first off, thank you for sending those in. And while I may not be able to answer all of them here today, I'll try to answer as many as I can. And I'll definitely try to focus on the ones that came up multiple times. So here we go. All right, favorite skater and video part? Well, obviously there are way too many for me to name, but growing up, I was always most influenced by the skaters that were creative or doing something different. People like Louis Barletta, Chris Haslam, Jordan Sanchez, uh, Micah Hollinger, people like that. Also, I was really into a lot of the technical skaters like Dan Zverev, Jamie Fortune. And in recent years, I've been into people like Albert Nyberg, Matt Tomasello, and of course, Go Miyagi, one of the greatest to ever do it. As for favorite video part, that would be really hard to choose. But I guess if I had to watch one video part for the rest of my life, it would probably be John Mata in Happy Medium 1. All right, so hardest trick I've ever done. That's a difficult one to answer, but maybe the frontside three hard down Utopia Ditch from a Happy Medium 4. That was a really wild one, and I'm super pumped I landed it. That was a good day. Favorite tricks to do? I really love nose manuals, I love blunt to fakies, and I love 360 hard flips. All of those feel really good, and I love them very much. And as far as favorite trick I've done at a certain spot, that's an interesting question. It would probably be nose manual down the Queen Mary bank from my part in ground control. That was really scary and really hard for me at the time, but it was also one of the last tricks I needed to finish off my part. I had it in mind for a long time, so once I got that one, I was feeling pretty good. My name Jason! So I've traveled to a lot of places that I really love, but my favorite place that I've traveled to would definitely be Korea. I've gone over there a handful of times to visit my fiance, and it is the greatest place I've ever been to outside of Hawaii. The food is incredible. They have some of the coolest, craziest skate spots I've ever got to skate, and everyone's just super nice there. It's just a wonderful place. So I started skateboarding on my 13th birthday. That's when my mom and dad got me a skateboard for a birthday present. So thanks mom and dad, you guys are awesome. And the reason that I wanted a skateboard and the whole reason I wanted to start skateboarding in the first place was because before that I was a gamer and I would just play video games in all my free time and I loved it. And one of my favorite games was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. I mean, I played one and two as well, but three was my favorite. And if you remember when you beat the game with a certain skater, you would unlock like a video of them skating. Those were all really cool to me. But the one that I really, really loved that really inspired me was Rodney Mullins. I remember beating the game with him and watching his video. You know, he would do a lot of freestyle, mix it with street. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. I think most of the footage was from his part in the Globe Opinion video, maybe some from round two. I can't really remember, but it was incredibly inspiring. And I just remember watching it and thinking, I want to learn to do that. Favorite comedy movies and TV shows? Well, my favorite comedy movie would probably be Hot Rod. I love that movie. As far as TV shows, I will always say that Nathan For You is the greatest television show of all time. Other than that, I really like shows like Kenny vs. Spenny, Review, Man Seeking Woman, Malcolm in the Middle, Community, The Office, stuff like that. All right, so if I had any advice for you, if you wanted to start skating, it would just be to start. I don't know, it's fun. I started skating because it looked fun and it turned out it was fun. If I had any other advice, it would just be, don't worry about what everyone else is doing, what the trends are or anything. Just kind of do whatever you want. When I started skating, I always loved circus tricks, weird tricks, just kind of like stupid things that I would see in videos. And so that's what I learned and that's what I focused on. And I always told myself that I wanted my entire life to revolve around just doing silly circus tricks on a skateboard. And uh, I guess I fulfilled the prophecy, but yeah, just do whatever you want, whatever's fun for you do that and um, just don't really care about anything else. Am I gonna have any merch? Well, actually I already do and I have had some out for a while. If you want, you can check it all out at jasonparksucks.com. Actually, the shirt I'm wearing right now is one of them. I drew this up. There's some other stuff on the site that I drew up. There's some shirts with my face all mutated on it. There's one of me dancing from seventh grade. It's a bunch of weird stuff. So if you're into that kind of thing, um, I got you covered. Okay, so favorite video games. I really like a lot of N64 games. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, the mini games in those were so fun. I love Paper Mario and Bomberman 2, the second attack for N64. Those were great. GameCube was one of my favorite systems. I love Super Monkey ball, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, the Chow Garden in that was so much fun. Obviously all the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games, my favorites were probably three and four. One of my favorite games of all time is Amplitude, which was for PlayStation 2, and that was a really fun music game. But my favorite game series of all time would have to be Super Smash Brothers, 
by far. I really like the 64 one. Melee was my favorite game for a long time, but the new Smash Ultimate is just, whew, it is incredible. Who's my favorite Pokemon? Well, my favorite Pokemon has always and will always be Charmander. So the biggest obstacle that I've ever had to overcome in my life was probably when I tore my ACL and my MCL back in 2016. I got injured while skateboarding and I ended up having to have knee surgery, which took me out of skating for around a year. And it actually wasn't until a year and a half or so after surgery that I started feeling back to 100%. So yeah, it was a long time without skating and it actually happened pretty recently after I had just turned pro. It ended up being a pretty dark time in my life, but it wasn't all bad. I learned a lot because of the experience. Experience. I did a lot of physical therapy during my recovery, which taught me a lot about taking care of my body, even off the skateboard. I learned a lot about eating healthier to take care of myself. And probably the greatest silver lining of it all was that I was able to spend a lot of time with my family and friends back home in Hawaii while I recovered. And that is something to be thankful for. My first sponsor was actually 808 Skate, which is a local skate shop in Kailua here in Hawaii. And I love them so much. Everybody involved with the shop is just absolutely wonderful. But yeah, it's been a great relationship that's lasted a long time, easily over 10 years. I'm not really sure how long exactly. But they have a beautiful shop in Kailua on Oahu. So if you ever come down here, please check it out. They're just the best humans and I cannot praise them enough. All right, so favorite bands. I'm really into a lot of electronic synthwave style music. For example, Gunship and The Midnight are two of my favorite bands. Time Cop 1983, Computer Magic, stuff like that. Also, a lot of my favorite music of all time came out in the 80s from people like David Bowie and The Cure. And to this day, I'm actually still into a lot of music that came out while I was growing up. Bands like The Postal Service, Plush Gun, Placebo, Tegan and Sarah, people like that. I really love Ben Cooper and all of his music under Radical Face. And recently I've been into music like Choir Boy and Prayers. Also need to shout out Future Islands, one of my favorite bands of all time. The Deftones music video that I did with Brett Novak, that was a super fun project and that was a great time in my life. I was living up in LA at that time and Brett hit me up one day and he was like, hey, I got this project for a music video for this band, are you down? And yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm down, of course. I love working with Brett. I love working on new projects. So it was a lot of fun. I actually didn't know much about the Deftones at that time, but obviously since then I've looked into them a little more and they are a wonderful band, wonderful group of people. We actually filmed that video over the course of three different nights. So Brett would just come over to my apartment every night whenever it got dark. We'd hang out for a bit and then we'd go and skate all night and we just did that three nights in a row. It was not very serious. It was just a lot of fun, finding new spots, hanging out. And um, I actually really love how the project came out. The music video is for Romantic Dreams, by the way. I'll put the link in the description if you guys wanna check that out. That was a lot of fun. My proudest moments as a skateboarder. Well, well, one of them would definitely have to be when I landed my first kickflip which was in the driveway of this house. And that was just awesome because I had been trying it for I think around seven months or something like that. And I kept trying and uh, eventually one day it worked and it felt great and I will never forget that day for the rest of my life. Besides that, it would definitely have to be video premieres for projects that I've worked a long time on. The first one that really stuck out was for Ground Control which was a video filmed by Ilya Moran. And that was actually the first full length project I was ever a part of. So that was pretty crazy. We premiered it in a local art theater and it was sold out and it was just a wonderful experience. Besides that, the Sometimes video was also an incredible one. That was a side project with Buster and Hunter O'Shea and you know John Mata, John Robb, all the Happy Medium guys. And that was a great night at that premiere. That video is incredible if you haven't seen it. And that was also the night that I went pro. My family was there to celebrate with me. Just a lot of really happy memories from that time. Also the video premiere for The Big Mahalo, which was a video I filmed with Jordan Kim in Hawaii. We premiered at my local skate park, Kaneohe Skate Park. We all kind of met up and skated and hung out all day. And then when it got dark, we busted out a projector and a screen and we just played it there in the park. A lot of people came out to support and we worked really hard on that video as well. So that was a great, great night. Good job, Jordan Kim. You killed it on that one. All right, well, that's it. Thank you so much for all of your questions, all the support over the years. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if I didn't get to address your question. I'll probably make another video like this in the near future because there were just too many questions. I couldn't get to them all, but I hope you enjoyed this. You know, if you have more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try to get to them in a future video. I will also leave a link in the description to all those projects that I discussed in this video. So you can check those out if you want. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. My name Jason!